With the 51st selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, Washington used a second-round pick on Samuel Cosme from the University of Texas. Cosme started in 34 of 35 games at offensive tackle for the Longhorns, playing 14 games on the right side and 21 games at left tackle. He has a wealth of experience playing on both sides of the offensive line, and at nearly 6 foot 7 and 315 pounds, he's a lean offensive tackle that has plenty of room left on his frame to fill out. Uber athletic at over 300 pounds, Cosme ran a 487 40 yard dash at his pro day, and even caught a touchdown pass during his four year Texas career. Turning on the tape, Cosme excels as a run blocker, climbing to the second level with ease in order to latch and eliminate targets. Conversely, his lack of play strength on the first level shows up at the point of attack, as he isn't yet a consistent people mover. Cosme is currently a shield blocker that's able to position his frame into weighing alignments in order to create running lanes. In pass protection, his length gives him an advantage over defenders that are attempting to bend and turn the corner against him. He possesses elite athleticism, and he's able to overcompensate and get away with the current technical flaws that he has. Cosme will need seasoning as a pass protector, as he needs to gain strength, as well as refine his lower half. Leverage is another flaw that must continue to be worked on, as he has shown tendencies to play too high, resulting in defenders sometimes being able to get underneath of him. The former Longhorn blocker is an athletic offensive tackle that has many ingredients to work with, but needs the proper coaching in order to blend them all together to reach his final state. I see Cosme as a right tackle that could excel in Washington's zone blocking scheme and has the potential to eventually slide over to the left side if able to correct his flaws in pass protection and continue to gain muscle mass and strength. This is how Sam Cosme will complete the offensive line in Washington. As a junior in 2020, Cosme earned second team All-America honors and was a first team All-Big 12 selection, playing in and starting the first eight games of the season before opting out to prepare for the NFL draft. Cosme led the Longhorns in total first down and touchdown blocks with 25, total knockdown blocks with 28, and total dominant blocks with 12, and entering his final game, had allowed just one QB hit, one tackle for loss, and one sack, and was part of an offensive line that helped the Longhorns to score 41.3 points per game in 2020, good for fourth best scoring average in Texas school history. Cosme blocked for an offense that averaged over 6 yards per play, and a backfield that averaged 5 yards per carry, and scored 18 rushing touchdowns. Cosme's protection helped senior QB Sam Ellinger record almost 2,800 yards of total offense, and score 33 total touchdowns. Arriving in the district as an intriguing tackle prospect that could develop into a longtime starter on either side of the line, the former Texas Longhorn enters a near-perfect situation, as Washington's O-line played better than expected last season, and Cosme may not be called upon to start right away. According to Pro Football Focus, Washington had the sixth best offensive line in the NFL in 2020, with the team shuffling through a platoon of tackles. Washington starting center Chase Roulier signed a long-term extension during last season, and Pro Bowl right guard Brandon Sheriff will play on the franchise tag again in 2021. Also in the mix for playing time is 2020 fourth-round pick Sadiq Charles, who is recovering from knee surgery after playing only two snaps last year. With the recent additions of veterans Charles Leno Jr. and Eric Flowers, as well as the subsequent release of longtime starting right tackle Morgan Moses, Washington's offensive line will look drastically different from last year's group and will be an interesting storyline to watch as training camp approaches. I fully expect 2020 starter Cornelius Lucas and new acquisition Charles Leno to battle for the starting job on the left side, with the loser possibly sliding to right tackle. Washington needs a long-term solution for both tackle positions in the near future, with both Lucas and Leno due to hit free agency in 2022. Adding Cosme not only provides depth and insurance as a swing tackle, but also adds another prospect that could develop into the eventual starter at either tackle spot. Cosme is a great developmental prospect that may sit for some time early on, but has the raw athleticism and potential to become a starting tackle for Washington within his first few seasons. What do you think of the former Texas tackle? Could Cosme compete for a starting spot right away? Let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more wonderful content just like this.